Protector stands for preventing ovarian cancer through early excision of tubes and late ovarian removal. So in women who are ri high risk for getting ovarian cancer, uh, for example, BRCA1, BRCA2 gene carriers, uh, the standard of care is uh, removing tubes and ovaries or bilateral salpingo oophorectomy uh, once they've completed their family and once usually over the age of 35. Uh, this prevents ovarian cancer in the future. It's very effective. It's the most most clinically effective way of preventing ovarian cancer is bilateral salpingo uh, without any ambiguity. Now, a number of these women are premenopausal, and if you remove someone's ovaries, uh, they go into the postmenopause. Uh, when a lady goes into a postmenopause, there are a number of uh, side effects and detrimental consequences such as uh, vasomotor symptoms or hot flushes, sweats, irritability, mood swings, uh, reduced libido, sexual dysfunction, uh, osteoporosis, thinning of the bones, an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, um, an increased risk of uh, neurocognitive dysfunction, uh, dementia, etc. later on in life. So the number of potential detrimental consequences uh, and uh, these can be minimized by hormone replacement therapy but it never comes back to the level it was when, uh, when a woman had her own ovaries. So it can't be you know, completely gotten rid of. Uh, and some women, number of women feel, uh, find it difficult to cope with the symptoms. A number of women delay the operation uh, of surgical prevention uh, until they hit the natural menopause uh, due to concern about these consequences. So. For those who delay it till after menopause, there is a risk which they are taking, uh, which is a cancer risk which rises after the age of 35. So particularly in that cohort, uh, we were keen to offer a new option called sal early salpingectomy. So you, rem you remove the tubes, but you leave the ovaries behind. And the reason for, attractive reason for doing so is that we realized that a large number of these cancers actually coming in the tube, from the tubes and not the ovaries. So a large proportion of these cancers are tubular in origin and therefore we feel there would be a benefit of getting some level of cancer risk reduction while, remain, while maintaining a natural hormonal supply uh, and not potentially not going through early menopause uh, for those women who would prefer not to have a, a premenopausal uh, salping uh, So the study compares this new option or two-step procedure of early salpingectomy initially and a delayed oophorectomy once the, the woman hits the menopause or once she decides to do so at, at a later point in time with standard operation of bilateral salping me as well as not having anything done or controls. Um, and it's a UK-wide study. We hope it will start in about six to eight weeks' time. We're in the process of setting it up. It's got funding and ethics and HRA approval and things. Uh, so anyway, something we're very excited about. Uh, um, we you know, are keen to evaluate and compare the various options. And within the trial, be able to offer a new option to women who would have had none.